Hello Python programmers, this is AK. In this video, we are going to see about how to become a Python freelancer. In this video, I am going to share the 5 tips about Python freelancing. These tips will help you to become a Python freelancer. And also, it will give an idea about how to get a freelance project from the clients. So this is the quick introduction about this video. Before start this video, Please like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and help me to reach out 10k subscribers on YouTube. Your support is very very important to me. So kindly share this channel to your friends and colleagues, those who are interested in Python. The first point is, learn the fundamentals of Python. If you want to become a Python freelancer, you must learn the fundamentals of Python language. You should have a good piece of knowledge about basic concepts like data structures, functions, conditional statements loops etc if the client given a problem you should be able to find a solution using python understanding the logic of the program is very important while you are learning try to develop your logical skills so that you will be able to solve complex problems when you do freelancing works python is the most easier programming language compared to others python is most popular and powerful language out there that's why everyone is going for python so learning the basics of python is reasonably easy and it won't take more than a week if you work hard and the second point of the freelancing is be a specialist at something python is a simple language so there are lot of python programmers out there waiting for the jobs the competition is tough that's why you don't want to be a just another python programmer you must specialist at something in the field of python clients prefer specialist only so you need to become a specialist in the some field of python and the third one is freelancing teaching jobs if you are interested in teaching this step is worth to try with this step you can make money even before you become an actual freelancer there is a big market out there waiting to learn the basics of python language the attracting thing is that most of these people are beginners they don't know anything about programming so it will be easy for you to teach those people who are below your level so i will show you the best way to find the clients for your teaching freelancing job some of the online teaching platforms are teacher on wise and take lessons create your profile on these three platforms then you can find lots of customers here you can teach them in person or online at an hourly rate also, you can find local clients who are willing to learn Python. And the fourth point is finding the clients. Finding the clients is one of the biggest thing in freelancing. If you are a beginner, it is very hardest thing for you. And if you are a pro, it is very easy to you. You can look at your local places and try to find out any clients. I will show you the best way to find the clients for your freelancing projects. Go to Upwork.com and create an account there. It is one of the best place to find the clients or you can try the freelancer.com a most popular one as well to attract the clients you need a good portfolio if you don't have the, any working history do some personal projects and add them to your portfolio when the clients look at your portfolio they should get a feeling that is this person can do this work for me when you get the clients and complete your works for them and add those details to your portfolio. As your portfolio becomes packed with working experiences and projects, you can attract more clients. And the fifth point is, do the work and earn money. Apply for the job that you are really interested. It is initially very tough to get your first customer. But you have a good portfolio. You can attract lots of clients towards you. According to the recent surveys, Python freelance programmers can earn nearly $51 per hour. Initially, you can charge less for your works. As you become more experienced Python freelancer, you can increase your hourly date and increase your and it helps to increase your income. So this is the five ways to become a Python freelancer. So that's all we are in the end of this video. I hope this video will help you to become a Python freelancer and this video gives idea about how to get your first freelance project as a python developer so that's all 
Thanks for watching. Keep support me to reach 10k subscribers on YouTube. Mainly share this channel to your friends and colleagues, those who are interested in Python. Thanks for watching and thank you.